just again such an awesome feeling to reach a new country by bike. And this time though, I think it's, uh, it feels even more special because it's really, it's really outside of Europe. Yeah. Well, of course, still on the continent Europe, but not long. Yeah. Well, soon crossing to Asia by bike. Just on our way to a park here in Kijan. Uh, a local told us that it would be okay to camp there and that we could also use the restrooms that are there. And all the times that I've cried, keeping all the things I knew inside its heart. But it's harder to ignore it. So someone is playing music in the middle of the night. And it's just so loud. Alright, good morning. Um, today we are off from Kishan to Gallipoli. Well, just before probably. We'll see where we'll sleep. Um, and uh, yeah, we're still all together, which is pretty cool. Probably for at least today and tomorrow still. And then we'll see where the road takes us all from there. <laughs> all right, so we just spent the last hour or so climbing up a long gradual hill up to 350 something meters and now we're gonna go all the way down So we feel a bit terrible about not taking the little puppy with us, but yeah, it would just be a bad idea at the moment at least. I think we shouldn't have stopped because I think we got his hopes up a little bit, which was not good. We found a very nice camping spot right at the beach. It's uh, this little town, it's a bit desolate. All the restaurants are closed and there are not many people. So we thought it should be okay to camp at the beach. Today is a big day. Yeah. We're crossing continents. We're going to Asia. Yes. And you won't see it on the camera, I guess. Nice. But over there is the ocean and we can see Asia already just on the other side. 
got very exciting for today. That's really cool. <laughs> So this bridge is still in construction, but um, it's absolutely massive. Um, I think I read somewhere it might actually be one of the longest suspension bridges in the world. I don't know, not sure on that, but it's massive and it's going to connect Europe and Asia. So we just did the authentic thing and from the money we earned busking here in Chanakala. Hello. Alright my friend, have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we bought one and a half kilos of uh, every type of baklava they had in that store. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, baklava party. Oh. <laughs> Weil ich von unten so ein Spiel wie das ist. Mm. So we're just outside of the bus ticket office uh, trying to get bus tickets um, from Chanakala, where we are, are right now, to Izmir because we were told that the coast from Izmir down to Antalya is a lot nicer so we thought with our limited time here in Turkey we'd cycle that part instead of the more northern part so yeah, initially we wanted to take a ferry but there is no ferry so now we have to see if we can find a bus that takes all the bicycles and so on yeah. so it's a bit okay, uh, yeah, then, proving to be pretty difficult It's already almost dark now, as you can see. Uh, we ended up camping in the park right next to the bus ticket office and we're gonna be there tomorrow at 6 in the morning and um, then just check if the bus really can fit four bikes because one bus is supposed to go at 6.30 and they told us it would be empty and able to carry four bikes but we'll see in the morning. So it's just after uh, 6 a.m. or around 6 a.m. I think and we're heading out of the park and to the bus station. So cold. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> stuff let's hope it's all still okay and not too much bent and so on So we're in Izmir now, in the city center, and Luis and I just found a nice little hotel after checking quite a few different ones uh, for a good price. We are now about to change something about our setup, because I decided to get rid of my guitar. Um, it was just because, yeah, in the end I 
didn't play it that often and um, didn't enjoy it that much. And so it's, yeah, there's no point in um, carrying more weight with me when I don't use it. And um, the good thing, Marlene and Lukas also have, a, yeah, they have a guitar leader with them and they said they would like to have a guitar. And now Lukas um, just bought all the, the whole setup, um, like the, the carrier and the guitar and the bag and everything. And now we're gonna um, build everything for his bike. <laughs> so my bike is naked already. And they're trying to build it. It's on the bike. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Looks perfect. <laughs> Custom made. <laughs> So this is our first night in any sort of uh, accommodation in I think nine or ten nights while camping and um, yeah it was definitely time for a real shower not just yeah a th bath in a hot spring or something <laughs> and it felt good and now we're gonna spend tonight and tomorrow the whole day editing we're gonna be in this hotel for two nights in Izmir and then we're going to continue cycling um, the day after tomorrow, also with Marlene and Lucas again. Um, and yeah, should be pretty cool. And again, we want to show you what our tour looks like so far and what we have planned for the next weeks. So we entered Turkey from Greece at the um, border control uh, Ipsala. Then we went to Kejan. Then down here and to Chanakale, um, which is already on the Asian side. We took a ferry to cross over here. Um, and then we now took the bus to Izmir, where we will um, then continue um, tomorrow to cycle down uh, along the coast, just uh, yeah, through Didim and uh, Fethiye, which is supposed to be a nice city. And then to Antalya, where we want to arrive in, I think, uh, two and a half weeks. And then we are going to take another bus back to Istanbul because we're flying um, to the USA on the 8th of December um, from Istanbul. behind my guitar <laughs> and my bike looks so naked from behind but it's yeah I'm happy with the decision We decided to make a little fire. Wow, it's burning. So last night was by far the coldest night we've had so far. And you can just see everything is so condensated. We just spent the past hour climbing up this hill and now we're gonna go all the way down and the views are spectacular. So nice today going a lot up and down but the view is worth it. It's so 
beautiful here. So many mosquitoes here. So unfortunately somebody just came and said we can't camp here, even though this campsite has been looks like it's been abandoned for years. Um, but they said we can go just outside of the gate there, or that at least that wouldn't be a problem. So I lit a fire. Isn't it good? Turkish wood. This little construction with some chicken wire. I don't know if you can really see it that well, but um, we're gonna toast some bread. So we are almost at Didim, which was uh, recommended to us because it has such beautiful beaches, and wow. It really does look pretty beautiful. Oh, there might be flamingos. we go with a beautiful sunrise wow so nice so today we're heading into the mountains and taking a little shortcut between uh, Didim, where we were last night, and Mugla, where we'll be, I don't know, day after tomorrow or something, taking nice and slow. But yeah, we have a bit of climbing to do the next few days. Uh oh.
Peaceful here. So we found a really awesome spot for tonight. Even though it's already pretty early, but still very early in the day, uh, we thought it's so nice that we just stay here now. leaving this beautiful spot now and it's cold it's like eight degrees there is always a reward for cycling up <laughs> and here it's this a freaking amazing view wow So we're here at this uh, company. Uh, Where are you from? Germany. Germany. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and um, we're getting our bikes weighed. My bike weighs 60 currently, and Luisa's between 50 and 60 because the accuracy of the scale was only in five kilogram increments, meaning. Mine weighs 60 plus minus 5 kilos and Luisa's weighs 50 plus minus 5 kilos so it could be that we're, they're both around 55, hard to know. Wow. So we arrived in Mula and um, went to a cafe to get something to eat, drink some warm chai and to have some Wi-Fi to check the messages of the warm shower host. And it turned out he's only at home around 22 in the evening. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. in the evening, which is so late <laughs> because it gets dark at like six and then it's just dark and cold. And he's not in the city, what we thought. He's like 30 kilometers far from the city so um, yeah we now decided not to go there and are now searching for another host who can spontaneously host us so Marlene did find a host of a couch surfing so we can stay in the city tonight maybe maybe I know hey. maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I haven't played this for so long. Invited for a coffee. Is this traditional? Yeah. 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are off to our couch surfing host. What's your name? Lucas. Lucas, I'm Khan. I'm Luisa. Luisa, okay. Toby. Hi. What? Toby. 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 Oh, okay. Nice to meet you guys. Nice, nice, to, nice, to, nice to, to meet you. <laughs> So nice. You stay there for more. Yeah. Blue? Go down. Go down. Go down. That's my sleeping bag. No, don't hit it. Where am I supposed to sleep? This is the new Toby now. I think she wants some soup now. Okay, we'll follow this one and we know it. Okay, cool. Nice. That's cool. Great place is something like that. And yeah, we are sleeping here together with uh, Cousin, who will be sleeping with us, <laughs> probably. learning how to make Turkish coffee yesterday, I'm gonna try to make it myself. <laughs> so, one spoon per person. Uh, Khan, our host, is already out working, but his grandpa brought us lots of breakfast and we also have eggs from the chickens here. Mmm, breakfast. We're going to some secret place. <laughs> yeah. Already forgot the same. How to yeah. say Sherefe. In German, in German, 